I'm Metatron. I would yes. like to talk about the healing that Tukur started to talk about and did not finish. Because there is so much energy within the human body and within the realms of space and earth that you cannot possibly imagine. And yes, the beginnings of healing of oneself and others has just begun. The energies will be greater than they are now. The energies will bring themselves into an understanding once you as a species understand that the third dimension is not limited. It is not limited. You feel the limitations of the, the, the body. I, I understand this being here. She understands that the third dimension has no limits. Is that not correct? Yes. She feels that you also understand that because you are a medium and you've been to the body all through it in many senses and in the mental parts of it. And you understand where the different messages of the body come from. And you can understand that that can push out and change third dimension. Do you not? Yes. Yes. There are many here that understand. That yes. And this is a possibility. I am here just to begin the thought process. Begin to stimulate that portion of the third dimensional brain that is aware of these things. Let me stimulate the portion of your brain that is aware of these things. Think about these things. Attune yourself to health. Attune yourself to other health. Because you control more than just your energy. You are God in here, connected to what? Other pieces of God everywhere. So can you speak to that part of them? Absolutely. Absolutely. It may be covered, it may be darkened, but you can still get through to it because it identifies with who you are. It identifies with who you are. The species that you are. The thought processes that are lying dormant within you. Because if you had all of them awakened at once, you would be too advanced. And you would want to be worshipped, and that is not why you are here. The growing period is essential to the integrity of what you become. Do you understand that? This integrity of greatness has to open slowly because that is the only way it will be utilized properly in the universe. But now, I digress. The healing principles that you are now using, yes, they are part of creation. Think of your healing as creativity. You are bringing to life Something that does not exist. Health that did not exist there, you have helped to create. Pain that exists, you are bringing in comfort. That is creating. That is part of creation. When you heal, you are creating a different scenario of what the being was before you started. There is less pain, more comfort. You are creating that. You are creating together within your spiritual realms, within your energy realms, those 
things that cause positivity. Do you create positivity? Of course you do. Your fire burns in a positive way to burn out those things that are negative, do they not? But sometimes it pushes so much deep that the flame doesn't burn as high, doesn't feel the heat, doesn't feel the comfort and the confidence to burn away those things that are around. But let me tell you, the God element, the God heat, the God understanding, connected through the brain, through the higher self, the source, wherever you want to call it, can burn away the darkness. You have that ability. I have seen it. I know where you're going. I can intrigue you enough to make you want to think about these places in your brains that will help healing and understanding and wisdom and the many things of creation that you do. Everything that you do is creation. Even with some of the dark things, you can create darkness if you want. You are a god. You create what you want. If you want the darkness to show someone how to appreciate the good, then you create it. Don't blame anyone else for what you are feeling right now. You may blame everybody around you, but you have the God element and that you can understand who you are and that what they are saying is not true or what they are saying is a creation to manipulate you. Creation. It's all about creation. Create your perfect environment. Healing is creation. Love is creation. Where does love come from? Where, does, where did it form? How do you feel it if it wasn't there before? How, how is it that it's there now? How is it that you feel these feelings that you feel without ever having felt them before? Did someone explain them to you? I think not. You created them within the realm of your creation. That is power, my friends. My beloved children. I am just giving you a small, small indicator of what your, ab your ab abilities are because they're much greater than that. You have to even at some point realize what you are creating. What are you creating for yourself? What are you creating for yourself? What is it? Is it something of positive nature, of growth? Oh, let it grow. Create. Enjoy your creation. Enjoy being a creator of good and wonderful things. Because when I touch someone and want to heal them, they feel the energy, and what is that? They say, oh, that's just energy just going in there. No. Intend it to be a creation. Intend it that you are the creator and you're helping with healing. And you're bringing something good to where there was something not so good. So all you healers out there, understand that you are creating the healing. It is a wonderful and beautiful and positive message. Yes, I was meek when I came in and now I am almost shouting because I am aware that you are listening. 
and if I can keep your attention by speaking louder, I will. Thank you, Metatron. That's a beautiful message. Uh, she's dropped. Um, Shron, would you like to ask Metatron a question? Yes, thank you. Thank you for your message. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, I, it's exactly what I wanted to ask today. I wanted to talk about um, healing um, or communicating with the infants that I work with. If you yeah. have any thoughts on that. With infants, did you say? Yes. Infants are very receptive to your energy. Be very positive with them. Be very loving with them and create in them a cre an attachment with you. That is what you just need is to attach to their, their creative soul as well. Their fire is there and it is so intense. When you are born, it is like you are the fire. So remember, attach yourself to their fire and let them know that your love is true and they will be able to understand that energy, love, creativity that you are having with each other. And there is not much to it. It's very simple. Children are very simple. In a very complex way, but very simple when it comes to love. When it comes to giving of self. Of course, remember this. They were in their mother's womb for an amount of time and they picked up many energies from that journey and so sometimes they are maybe a little hesitant to connect with your energy because they did not want to connect with some of the energy that they felt from the womb. Does that make sense to you? And yes. so, just as pure as you can, approach them. Intend that your purity is felt by them. Much love to you. Thank you. Much love to you as well. Hello, Metatron. Nice to Hello. be in your energy. It is wonderful to meet you as well. Yes. Um, I'm very happy you're talking about healing because I've been, well, I just allow it to come out. It is, it is very simple. But intend yourself to know in yourself that the God flame, your soul, your fire, your creativity is very strong. And that part of you has the ability to heal yourself. Now, some people say, I have a contract and the pain is supposed to be here and this and that. Maybe part of your contract is to overcome the pain yourself. Maybe part of your contract is to understand that you are a godlike being and move forward into the ascension in a greater way. Do you understand that? Yes. So take your healing hand and place it on those places where you need pain relief or healing. Place your mind in a place without doubt. Intend that there be no doubt that you understand that the third dimension can be overcome with the God's fire, the God spirit, the God creator, because that is who you are in part. Yes, thank you. Angie will be our last one. Metatron, how are you? Hello. Um, I have been dealing with some pain. Yes. And I'm trying to work through it, but with your um, lesson today that I can heal myself with the pain that I've been going through. Yes. It's true that I can get rid of the pain that I have. You must believe it and you must create it. But that is all there is to it. But believing is not so easy for the third dimension. Faith in yourself.
to be able to create this. Many people doubt themselves. Doubt is a great destroyer. Doubt is a great destroyer. Because when there is a slight bit of doubt, it blocks channeling. It blocks healing. It blocks all that is meant to, to be created. With that one tiny grain of doubt, it stops forward movement for great things. I know this. I've seen this. That is why I'm here today. There are those that need to hear this lesson. Ah. But doubt will kill those opportunities. And you say, oh, why did you tell me that? Now I'll doubt. That is what you must overcome. It is there. You must know all the facts. You have all these emotions within you. You have doubt, fear. Fear is also a destroyer. And all kinds of negative things within you. Negative. I hate that word, but it is true. But your positivity, your creation, your ability to overcome third dimensional weaknesses is so real. You just have to make it real. Find a way. Medit meditate on it. Meditate on it. Feel it. Understand it. Go into that heart place where you see that bright light. Understand the light. Because if you don't understand the light, you won't understand how to use it. Use it the way you understand it to be pure and useful and creative. Some people just say, oh, it's just the light of my being. It's just who I am. It's just, it's just God. It's God. Now try to bring that into some realism into your life. God is not third dimensional. He's every dimensional. <laughs> Blessings to you all. And I will be gone. I've spoken enough. Thank you. Could you do a blessing before you go? Uh, I would be glad to. Yashashantirati Pikataran Sasa Sasafon and Pachamtura Iriatan Elohim Divi Kokoshiho Hiyamasa Torakunda Kuratisa Enkora Kasha Sifiatam Tura Tapa There are many of you there, and I give you each a blessing, and I give you each a part of the God that is within me, because I stretch it out and give it to you as part of who you are, because you are part angel as well, part created, that part which is God was created. Meria Sasu to Tikara Kaha. Yes, from the beginning, from the beginning, <coughs> the very, very beginning, before the beginning, and beyond the past into the future past. I give you blessings. Accept them and bring them in. Let God, the heart, the soul, the fire within you, let God see God coming. Does that make sense to you? Let God see God. Let God see God. Because he is to be seen.
Much love. Much love. Kario kana na Kyoto. Shalom to Dalha. Shario kana Kyoto na skuru kali kalioto no skario kata tutwa. Wonderful. Thank you guys.